So why do you think so many voters are preferring Trump? Uh, look, we know the reason why, but let's just talk about it. Uh, why tr they do prefer Trump on these issues. We are in a very unique situation for this election where we have two people that have already been there and done it. So now there's a clear record. It's not about what they say they're going to do. You simply look back and say, what did you do? And if people are preferring Donald Trump, it's based upon the record. Again, this is such a great situation for voters to be able to compare two people in what they've already done. So I think when when everything comes out here, people will decide based upon those records. Dan, um, a Fed note from this month, right? It's showing the central bank is likely to prematurely cut rates in the meetings next month. Do you think this decision is at all meant to help Harris just before the election? Because that is what some people... Um, Myself included. As Michael, maybe. Yes, and I've been saying it for a <laughs> while. Coming. I said it a year ago, they will cut rates right before the election as wow. a given. He did. Go ahead, take it well, away. <laughs> J Jerome Powell certainly has opened himself up to criticism based upon the timing. He has been late to the party over and over again. So does it look suspect? Of course it does. Now the question is, how much impact will this actually have on the election? I think it's too late where it's gonna have an impact on the economy before everyone gets a chance to vote. However, it could absolutely impact the stock market. And the stock market is always making headlines. So if there's gonna be a, a lowering of interest rates and the stock market starts going up, that allows Kamala Harris to turn around and say, see, it's working, look at your 401ks, value is going up. But that really shouldn't be the way it is. Those decisions by the Fed are supposed to be nonpartisan and based upon what he's doing, he's opened himself up for a lot of people to say, this is all political and we can't be messing with the financial system in that way.